Hi, I'm Claire Fallon. I'm Emma Gray. And I'm Lee Blickley. We're the hosts of Here to Make Friends in Quarantine, our weekly look at Bachelor Nation in the time of Corona. We're back and we're cozy today because you know what? It's week a million twenty, and I'm tired of getting dressed. I mean, it snowed <laughs> this weekend. We're on week nine. Like sweatshirts. That's it. Let's kick things off with a discussion of a very exciting event in reality TV these days. Too hot to handle reunion episode. Was it worth watching? What did you guys think? Uh, I thought it was anticlimactic, and I was very upset that they did not address the fact that supposedly Bryce and Nicole have been dating since the cast got together in Mexico. After. Yeah, this is the news we needed to hear. Yeah, I didn't need they, to hear any of it else, anything else except who's together especially Bryce, the fact that he has a girlfriend is shocking to me. (laughs) Especially someone from the show, because they all seem like they could not have been less interested in Bryce. That was the tragedy of Bryce throughout the season. Uh, And apparently he got together with Nicole off screen and they didn't even, they didn't even bring it up. Instead they had Bryce, they had Bryce sing another one of his original compositions, which I, I would personally encourage him to stop doing. (laughs) Um, until things get figured out a little bit. Um, He has a lovely voice, but the songs always seem like not quite there. Yeah, Yeah, it's it's Jed of Too Hot to Handle. (laughs) Just refine it a little bit more, Bryce. Uh, But we did get to see Fran and Harry, who are together and now, spoiler alert, engaged. engaged. So I would say it was worth watching because we have nothing else to do. And honestly... I had a drink in my hand. I was on FaceTime with friends. It was a freaking delight. Uh, Now, I think it's time for us to move on to the main event, which is this week's episode of Listen to Your Heart. The penultimate episode, right? Like, we only have one more week of One more left. They head to Vegas uh, in tour buses as couples to get a taste of that, like, tour life that they will hopefully experience when they win the show and simultaneously get married, as seems to be the premise. Um, and these couples are all trying to take the next step in their relationship. So Jamie, uh, our youngest contestant, um, finally decided to tell Trevor that she's falling for him, which she's really been stressing about. There's been a lot of anxiety in their connection. She constantly feels like she's letting him down. And she finally opened up uh, during their ice skating date and said, I'm really falling for you. Like, ugh, I'm wrong. I don't know, but I want to tell you that I am falling in love with you. And surprise ending, he said that he was experiencing the same thing. It went well. It went really well you for know, them. Good for Jamie. I, I don't have faith that this will last post-filming, but, you know, I am glad she got the answer she was looking for. It was very sweet to watch. I am literally falling in love with the man of my dreams. But then, of course, poor Rudy yeah. is encouraged by her. 21 year old bff i just want to say maybe relationship advice yeah from the giddy 21 year old who just got the answer she wanted is not it just you know might have uh benefited rudy to take a step back and understand that perhaps she was in a different place Mm -hmm. but this sort of convinced her to take the plunge and tell matt she was falling for him and he responded terribly very courageous for speaking your truth. For speaking your <laughs> truth. As, yeah. it, for as speaking if she was your like, truth. As if she was coming clean about a personal struggle in order right. to make social change, which is yeah. not really how you want your declaration of love to be framed by the recipient. No, no. And I think even if the other person can't, you know, respond in kind yet, perhaps like addressing what you said would be better than just saying like, wow so brave of you. Ugh. And I am a little bit concerned. I really like Matt and Rudy. They have a great musical connection. I'm concerned by how much their personal relationship seems to hinge on her saying, don't worry, I'm not always this much to handle. And yeah. him being like, I hope she's not always this much to handle because it seems like that's her personality, which is and fantastic. And right. I would love for her to find someone who appreciates that. Yes. So we have Jamie and Trevor. Uh, who really pulled it together this week. 
Matt and Rudy and, of course, Chris and Bree heading into the finals. Uh, they all gave beautiful performances this week. I can't believe this show's almost over. I was really just starting to get into it the past I know, week I'm or so. I know, I'm so sad. We are very lucky that we got to have a special guest on the show this week. Didn't yeah. we? Let's please toss it to our interview with Rudy Gutierrez, who is our number one girl of Listen to Your Heart. Her voice is just so angelic and beautiful. And we got to talk to her all about this week, her drama with Matt, uh, and what's to come in the finale. So check it out. Where are you quarantining right now? I'm in San Antonio, Texas, my hometown. So I live in LA, but since this whole thing has gone down, I was just like, I'm just gonna come home with family. And it's been nice, because then I just get to enjoy and watch. Well, that might, might be a different story, but uh, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's been good. I'm here. Tell us a little bit about your impromptu overnight date with Matt en route to Vegas. Uh, how did that come about? Why was that important for you to do? Yeah, I think, well, first off, me and Matt are kind of like just the crazy, I think, personalities, oh, at least me. <laughs> Let's become Matt. But, um, but uh, yeah, we just, we hadn't gotten a one-on-one -on -one date yet. And, um, you know, we were pretty far into the competition and he was just like, why don't we just go do our own thing? And I was like, I'm so down, like, let's do it. And so we didn't really know what we were getting ourselves into, but um, I, I'm glad we did. And it was, it was definitely time that we, we needed to just talk a little bit more and, and, you know, get to know each other instead of just being with the group all the time. So it was, it was really nice. So that was something that you were able to request from production? Yeah, we were, well, they, I think they just liked that we were like, let's just do whatever the hell we want. You know? And they were like, okay, that's kind of like, we wouldn't do that, but it's kind of cool. So they were like, let's do it. And um, they were really, really sweet about it. And, um, you know, I guess they, they just let us do what we want, which was really cool. And no one knew what was going on. They were like, where, they thought, literally, I, we got back and Trevor, I remember him being like, we literally thought you guys like got locked up in jail or something. <laughs> And you guys were both so nervous about your shallow performance coming up. You know, it was sort of built up like, is this going to go really badly? But then it, it really came together so, so gorgeously in the end. Why do you think things kind of clicked into place musically for that performance? I think, honestly, me and Matt, we're just when we're on stage, kind of all of our problems go away. And um, that's just what happened. I mean, I can't even, I can't explain it. Like, it was just we are so work so well together on stage that like and I have so much fun with him like literally I'm like glowing right now like, like just talking about it makes me so happy so like getting on there with him it was just like let's just not worry let's just do what we, we know how to do together and um I think that's the only thing that I can explain because I know it was definitely like a, a rocky and we were we were nervous we were like I was like, holy hell, I just got rejected, basically, and now I have to go sing on stage with this guy. Um, but, you know, it was, it was fine, and, and not fine, it was great. And like I said, I think we just both got on there, and we're just like, let's just do what we know how to do. And we have so much fun together on stage. So. That is very clear. Like, watching oh, yeah. your performances from an audience perspective, you guys are the most fun to watch. Who are you closest with in the house? Um, Jamie. I, yeah, me and her were, were really, really good friends, and um, we still literally talk pretty much every, every single day, at least 50 times a day, um, so yeah, we, we were really close. I was actually really close to Julia also um, in the house, and um, a lot of people afterwards, like, that I wasn't really thinking I would talk too much have, have been reaching out, and, you know, I'm a very chill person, so if you want to be friends with me, I'm like, let's do it. I don't have any friends, so... Uh, <laughs> close people uh, in the house. Uh, well, I think that's what's been nice about Listen to Your Heart, too, is that you can kind of see all the relationships, the friendships, the bonds that you guys formed, and how not only through, you know, connecting on personal levels, but through your music. Uh, a, honestly, like, I, going into it, I was, like, kind of skeptical and didn't really know how it was going to work, but also, girls are usually very not nice to me, and I was really, honestly, more nervous about meeting the girls rather than the guys and uh so when I went in and everyone seemed to like me I was like oh this is cool this is change <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's such an actually an interesting contrast I don't know if you watched other bachelor shows but the season that we just came off of you know Peter's season of the bachelor it was hard honestly to watch the way that the women were going after each other and how little we saw of those positive relationships and you would almost expect it to be more like that on this show because it is 
a competition, a talent competition. And yet it felt less competitive. Yeah. I literally, I thought same thoughts, literally 1000%. I was like, it's, I, cause I watched the bachelor and I'm like, girls can be crazy. Like, I don't know. I'm, and I'm, I mean, I know I'm sure you guys, I'm rowdy. So like if, if someone, if you don't like me and you're going to be that way with me, it's not going to look pretty on my, I'm going to just fight back. So I was like, Oh, I don't really want that to happen. But I mean, everyone was like really cool with me for the most part. So, um, it was, it was just a great experience all around, honestly. So it sounds like you still have some great friendships. What about you and Matt? Are you guys still in touch at all? Um, you guys have to wait. You guys have to wait. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, just a little hint. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> so, so wait, does this mean that we're going to get a reunion of some sort? Like an after show? Oh, I hope so. That would be amazing. I mean, I think, yeah, I, I see. I feel like people know that we, you know, tag and like each other's pictures. So we're definitely civil with each other. And that's as much as I'll say here. Oh, she's Thanks. good at the teasing, ladies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so if you are single, would you go on any of the other Bachelor shows like Bachelor in Paradise or even perhaps a future season of The Bachelor? You know, I'm just never say never. <laughs> never say never, and you will go. For <laughs> Before we let you go, is there anything at all that you can tease from the finale episode that we're going to see next week? Um, I think just some unexpected things, some drama, some tears, um, and, and some also, also great things. That's pretty much it, though. <laughs> okay formula we can't wait we can't yeah. wait to see what happens thank you again for joining us this is really fun yeah, you guys are all awesome i really appreciate it <laughs> oh rudy is so lovely what an incredible voice we are obsessed with her we hope you enjoyed that conversation as much as we did yes thank you for tuning in this week and we hope you join us next wednesday for a whole new episode of here to make friends in quarantine stay safe and healthy and remember to wash your hands constantly <laughs>